the main thing I do want you guys to be able to take away from this is that yes I'm busy yes I have a lot going on yes I have a lot on my plate and that can be stressful but being busy to me means that something is going right if you're bored all the time you have nothing to do like literally you have nothing to do there's a difference between being bored and not doing the things you need to be doing and being bored and literally having nothing to do literally having no goals everybody is doing well um, this video is gonna be kind of long overdue as you guys can see I haven't been uploading as frequently as I normally would with being um, my goals two or three times a week I've only I think one last week one video last week one video the week before and it's just kind of been sporadic and I just want to kind of let you know or let you in on why that is the case and kind of some things that I've been using to kind of adapt to the reason which will make a lot more sense once I fill you in on why I'm actually um, not uploading as much and just not been on my game when it comes to YouTube, Instagram even, and um, just lifting in general. Um, as you guys know, if you've seen my video, probably not the last one, but the one before that, I mentioned that I got a new job. So I am a personal trainer or um, a personal fitness coach um, at Body by Design, which is a private gym here in Waukesha, which is where I live. And with that job, um, I'm kind of a lot more busy than I, I was before that. So I was working before that just a normal position at a local gym as well, but I was in the childcare and um, some front desk stuff. But it was very, it was a part time job. So I wasn't as busy as I would like to be in terms of actually going to work every day. Um, more of my day to day tasks were with online coaching, helping my clients there making YouTube videos, lifting, making sure my nutrition is on point, and then I was working maybe like three or four, sometimes five days a week per time at this other gym. So now that I have this personal training job, it's a bit more like a full-time job. So I'm waking up every morning to my morning clients because they train before they go to work, and then I have later clients in the day, which is more the brunt of my schedule, which is later in the day after people get off of work. So basically, I'm up at 5 a.m. and I'm at work until about 8 p.m. every night. So with that being said, my sleep schedule has been messed up because I'm the type of person when I come home from work, I have to be up for a few hours and functioning in order to then be able to go to sleep effectively, I guess. So I'm not just sitting in my bed waking, uh, wide awake with my eyes wide open. So that has been a huge struggle of mine. So I've been going to bed around midnight and I've been waking up at 5 a.m. So as you guys know, six to eight hours is what I recommend in terms of sleep and even sometimes even more than that if you're really training hard. Training is definitely a huge critical portion of training and of recovery even in my opinion um, just as effective or just as important excuse me in terms of um, just overall importance as nutrition itself the food you're actually eating so you can be eating really really good um, you could be training really, really well, and you could still be suffering in terms of um, your actual training and hitting specific numbers, or just in terms of muscle growth, um, or whatever goal you're you're trying to achieve. And you can actually be not sleeping and hitting everything else, and that can be a huge factor in why you're not making progress. So, my sleep schedule has been a huge thing for me, and trying to adapt that and trying to go into bed earlier has been a key thing um, for me. But um, I really just need to make improvements. The other main thing is the, the time. So I know you guys are probably saying like, okay, throughout the day, Joe, you clearly have a lot of time between your, 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 your afternoon clients and your morning clients if you're up that early. But being that I was so tired, I was wanting to come home and just nap. So with that being said, I don't have the desire, which I normally would, where I would go work out after my morning clients almost immediately. Because ideally, that would be how I would like to have my schedule. So. Really, it comes down to just making excuses, not having enough time to eat, being too busy, being tired, but they all kind of snowball. So, like, it, it kind of goes hand in hand. I start to not sleep well, get less sleep than I need to, then my nutrition falls, then my workouts fall because I'm exhausted, don't want to go to the gym, 
the lack of desire for the gym is not there. And for someone who enjoys the gym like I do, I know that if I don't have that desire, something is definitely wrong. So um, just being able to kind of make yourself self-aware of the problems you're having and not just thinking that, oh, I'm doing everything right, really take a step back and look at the big picture and be honest with yourself. Because for me and this channel, I want to be able to be open with you guys and help you and show you my experiences. And um, this is definitely something that's been a challenge of mine, just to stay on top of my nutrition, stay on top of my uh, goals in terms of bulking. Um, I'm really light right now. I'm weighing like 153, 155, um, 153 in the morning, 155 at night, depending on the day. And as you guys know, I was up around like 164 over um, this past spring. So just kind of shows you the difference. I was going to school then, not working at all. So I was really focused on training, had a lot of time, a lot more time to eat, a lot more time to just prep, a lot more time to train and focus on training, and a lot more time for you guys in making YouTube videos. And that's where I think showing you guys more vlogging of my day, um, bringing you guys along with me, and just doing like making videos I think is going to be a huge thing for me and just doing it. I think getting used to this busier schedule, incorporating more videos, incorporating more workouts and giving you guys more information will definitely help you in the long run because eventually you guys are going to get to the point where I'm at where you're not in school anymore, you're not in high school, you're not in college or you are in college and you're faced with the same amount of challenges I am because you're busy all the time and you have to work and you have to go to school and you have to do it all. So. Um, and then the same goes for you guys who are going into the workforce. After high school, if you go right into the workforce, you're not going to college, um, which is another topic for another day, going to college or not, um, you're going to need this because your training starts to go downhill, your nutrition starts to go downhill, and that's when you start to put on the unwanted weight. Um, you start to lose your strength. You start to lose that size. And um, that's something I don't want you guys to have to deal with. So this video is getting a little long. I know I put a bunch of training in the background for you guys, and hopefully you guys did enjoy that. But um, I really just kind of want to update you, ask you a few questions. I'm going to leave you guys with what you guys enjoy the most on my channel. If you guys like when I just talk to the video, play some training footage in the background. If you like my vlog style videos, um, if you're not really too concerned about the whole fitness thing, let me know that. Um, but I know the basis of my channel has been around fitness and I want to keep it that way. But I want to have being I want to have different um, availability to me to branch out and do vlogs, do different longboarding videos do stuff that's eating, do stuff that's out of the box, and just something that you guys will enjoy. As long as you guys are enjoying it, that's all um, I really care about. So please let me know if this is helpful. Please let me know if you'd want me to go in more in depth on how I'm kind of getting around these challenges or just really what you guys want to see in general. So thank you guys for sticking along. Thank you guys for getting me to 800 subscribers. I really never thought I would be getting to 800. And um, I don't know, it's just really cool to see that there's that many people out there who enjoy listening to me talk enjoy listening to me rant about random things and learning about my experiences so thank you guys as always for watching hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully you're still watching appreciate that if you really if you are still watching and um, I'll talk to you guys in the next one like subscribe peace out guys have a good one